and I have a day job too, right? I'm running Jump, I'm running Sandy, I have other companies, my real estate company, philanthropy, which I'm very involved in, and I'm setting the cover photos every night, late at night. And when they hear that, they think, wow, I wasn't expecting that, right? But, but as a leader, as the CEO of the firm, you gotta lead by example. And you have to do the same amount of work and motivate your team. Hi, I'm Randy Kaplan. I'm an entrepreneur and a venture capitalist. I am the co-founder of Akamai Technologies, and over the last 20 years, I have invested in more than 70 early and late-stage companies. To become an entrepreneur, please enroll at Draper University. I've invested in real estate over this time. I started a new company a year ago with a partner, and we are buying B- minus and C apartment buildings in Long Beach. We're fixing them up and uh, creating value, re-renting them at higher rates. And then for the last six years, what I'm really excited about, who here loves the beach? Who here has had trouble finding their perfect beach? Who here has wasted a day or multiple days on vacation or locally going to a beach that they didn't know what was there and they were disappointed when they got there? Right. So I did too. And I was in Greece with my girlfriend. I'm remarried. I uh, have four beautiful kids, by the way, three teenagers and a, a two-and-a-half-year-old. I went on a trip with my girlfriend, now my wife, to Greece. We were staying in a nice hotel. We wanted a black sand beach. I asked the concierge. She whipped out a paper map, 32 parts, unfolded it, took out a Sharpie. I think there's one here. Don't know what really what the road is. And we drove out there in a little Fiat convertible, got lost. We had no Wi-Fi, no cell service, didn't know if we should bring water. There was no food there. We drove through what looked like an old road with weeds taller than the car. I thought, this is like the movie Taken. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure I want to do this. I mean, I don't know the concierge. I don't know what she knows. And so my wife's a little younger, more adventurous. We're going through this thing. And we drove a mile through this thing, you know, rickety road, Open up this beautiful expanse of beach. Black sand were the only ones there. We took phenomenal pictures. It was incredible. I thought, there's got to be a better way than this. This is, this is crazy how hard this was. She should have known the beach. She should have had here are the directions, and here are some pictures. Well, I went back. We were in Greece, did a Google search, .gr on Google, changed it to .us. Almost nothing, right? Local websites, nothing definitive. And I went back and I thought, God, you know, did a lot more research. There's nothing out of this. Try Googling how many beaches there are in the world. You will not find the answer. Try Googling how many beaches there are in uh, California. You will not find the answer. Someone take a guess on how many beaches there are in Malibu. 20? Uh, another guess. Well, you know that the number is skewing high because I'm implied that the number is higher. Uh, uh, take another guess. 47. Right? I've talked to people in Malibu who tell me there's 10, and they're certain they know everything about every beach. Right? They don't, I, I promise you. Malibu people are very knowledgeable about Malibu. They're certain they know everything. How many beaches within a one-hour drive of downtown LA? There's 217. Right? Most people don't know that. They, they Think about all the local use cases about where you'd go. Our, our trademark is choose your beach. We've cataloged 94 categories of information for every beach in the world, 152 countries. Right? The data set does not exist. As an entrepreneur, you want to do things that are very difficult. I know that several people have tried to do this before. They weren't able to do it because it takes an enormous amount of uh, resources. We have 41,000 hours of research into this project in six years. I have 36 interns this summer from 19 different uh, schools. It's a teaching internship. I spend an hour to 90 minutes per day with them. We have guest uh, speakers each week. Right now, the focus on the interns is getting cover photos, license-free cover photos that we can use. We never take anyone's IP ever, ever, ever. These are all public domain photos. That's very hard to do, too. Uh, good luck in going trying to do this on Flickr in a systematic way. It's very hard to do. A lot of the interns come from grade schools. We tell them when they come, before they come, it's going to be tedious work. It is below your intelligence level. Everyone's. Right? You're going to be finding and, and looking at cover photos, uploading them to our portal. 
it goes into a queue, and then they complain sometimes, and by the way, I'll, I'll go into in a minute the three tenets at jump that are important to be uh, 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 successful here. But we, we tell them the work is tedious. Welcome to being an entrepreneur, right? It's sweat equity, right? If it was so glamorous and so great, everyone would do it. If it were that easy, everyone would do it. It's not easy, right? No one else has done this. We have better beach data than Google has, than TripAdvisor, than Expedia. So I tell all the interns, you know, they look at me, yeah, yeah, yeah. So someone has to set the cover photos, right? We have 8,755 cover photos right now. We're uploading more each day. We don't release a beach online until we have a cover photos. I tell the interns, guess who sets every single cover photo on the site? We have to move it. We have to get the right um, fit within a, a, a screen. I set every single one. I tell, and I have a day job too. Right? I'm running Jump, I'm running Sandy, I have other companies, my real estate company, philanthropy, which I'm very involved in, and I'm setting the cover photos every night, late at night. And when they hear that, they think, wow, I wasn't expecting that. Right? But, but a as a leader, as the CEO of the firm, you've got to lead by example. And you have to do the same amount of work and motivate your team. So... Uh, we're getting ready to launch. I'm very excited uh, about this company. We have a great summer um, intern program for you or your friends. Uh, please feel free to contact me uh, afterward if you or someone would like to learn more about either the remainder of this summer or next summer. But what I tell all the interns when they come in, I kind of read them the riot act in a strict way. I said, number one, hard work. Hard work is going to be the greatest single determinant of your success at work. When you're new at a job, first one in, last one out. Never leave before the boss. Ever. Be on time. I tell my interns, 8 to 6, do not show up at uh, 801. You live in LA, plan for traffic. We had an intern two years ago driving from Santa Barbara, and um, you know what he did? Before he began, he did a test run on Sunday to find out how long it would take him to get there. You know how many times he was late? Zero. We had a Navy SEAL intern drive up from uh, San Diego last turn, a decorated Navy uh, SEAL. How many times he was late? Zero, right? I got the first intern a job. He wanted to go into a real estate business. Called my friend who was the CEO of a company. I told him what this young man had done. He said, I want that kid working here. And the Navy SEAL, I'm in the process of doing the same thing for him right now. So we've had, okay, so um, hard work. Two, integrity. We do not tolerate mistakes of integrity at any level. It is a termination um, event immediately. And what people don't realize, an error of omission is equal to an error of commission. So we tell people, if you see someone doing something bad and you don't tell me or one of the lead interns or someone who works at our firm, you're equally as guilty. Okay, and the last one is attitude. I ask every new intern when they come, how's your day? You know, my day's fine. Really, fine? Fine's like a B minus, that's a 2.7. Things are good, okay, that's a B. You've got a 3.0, do you wanna be a 3.0? No, right? My day is fantastic. Fake it till you make it, right? At work, no one wants to hear about your problems. Oh, things are okay, I had a rough night, right? Complaining is a cancer. We all have no complaining in our firm whatsoever, right? And just imagine how great it is to walk in. How's your day? It's fantastic. It's amazing. It's great. Couldn't be better. Verging on superb, right? People will want to work with you. You'll be a better leader. You'll get along better with others. And you'll be more successful wherever you go. I promise you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The best advice I have for any wannabe entrepreneur is to believe in yourself, don't listen to anybody else, and to just go do it right now. Mm -hmm.